Uh, okay, I'd like to talk to you about Roger Spackman. That's the name. Um, he's a former Labour councillor, and he just avoided a prison sentence. He was sentenced to 10 months in prison, which was suspended for two years. Now, I want you to think about that before we move on. There he is. That's, that's Roger. I pointed over the correct shoulder. <laughs> I, I'm laughing. I know how grim this gets now. 10 months suspended for two years. What do you think he did for that bit of embezzlement? Stole the paper clips from the office. Robbed a Mars bar. Robbed a Mars bar. No, he was found with more than 36,000, 36,000 indecent pictures of children on his computer with a, a other extreme pornography. 36,000 images. How many children in those 36,000 images do you reckon? How many were the same kid? Let's say it's even a quarter. Even a quarter. How many children were raped? to make those fucking images that this filthy, dirty bastard had on his computer. Ten months. Ten months. Investigators spent over 100 hours categorizing the images and identified illegal material dating from 2007 to 2017. Each image had to be reviewed, evidenced and assigned a category consistent with the severity of its content, with category A classed as the most severe. I do not know what makes category A, B, C, or whatever. I don't want to know um, what does that. But um, they found 58 category A photographs, 49 category B, 27,520 category C movies and pictures, they also identified 8,682 prohibited pictures and 370 extreme pictures and movies. Took three years to investigate. Um, he entered a guilty plea to five charges. These were... I'm going to put the glasses back on, sorry. Possessing a prohibited image of a child, possessing extreme pornographic imageries, portraying a sexual act with an animal, and three counts of making an indecent photograph, pseudo-photograph of a child. Bit of photoshopping. Photoshopping your own child porn. The sort of thing those guys love to do on Twitter and say, doesn't hurt, it's not a real kid. Ah. Yeah. He was ordered to sign the sex offenders registry, and uh, ten months. And, uh, yeah, he had, <laughs> I can't fucking believe this part, a 12-year career in Devon's Child Protection Services. He worked in Child Protection Services. A filthy, dirty, fucking paedophile, general delinquent, and degenerate who, apparently at the weekends like to dress up to go out as well, or more than likely dress up to go on the computer. I don't know what I'm supposed to call him, her now. Filthy fucking paedophile is what he is. I'm quite surprised that given he likes to dress like that, they've not passed it off as another crime by women. Because that seems to be the in thing nowadays, doesn't it, Graham? Mm, oh, yes. Because apparently women's crime in sexual offences is going up. I can't for the life of me imagine why women are suddenly becoming more violent and more attracted to children. Yes, because even if it says he and it's a male name on the actual court documents, it gets reported as a woman. Yes. Not trans woman, woman. woman. Because trans women are women. Even when they're using their lady dicks to fuck kids, they're women. I tell you what, Aiden, I... It, why did all these grooming gangs not get chased, eh, when we've got good people like this working on Labour councils? I can't for the life of me imagine how these things happen. Yeah, hey, you, 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 yeah, you've got to wonder, haven't you, why, why, why this scumbag Roger didn't, didn't, you know, stand up and say, hey, should we do something about these grooming Let's gangs? Let's sort out these paedophiles. Let's sort out these paedophiles. Yeah. Now, I, I'm not showing pictures of, of Roger in his dress. To say, <laughs> they're all trannies, these pedos, because it's not true. It would be a very lazy correlation to make. 
I think there's a more reasonable correlation that trans activists lean more towards the paedophile side of things. I think that's a very reasonable thing to say, given that most of their theory, you know, most of their methodologies they derive from queer theory, which, as we know, is the, the template for paedophilia. And uh, in society now, 